Bonjour, Anin, uh, Tanzi. My name is uh, Mike Alexander. The spiritual name I was given is uh, Animiki Kianaquad, uh, Thundercloud Man. I'm a member of the Crane Clan, and uh, I'm a, a guest here on these territories. And listening to um, people speak already, I'm just sort of trying to place myself here uh, in this building and in this community is quite um, a humbling experience for me. And I know that people talk about humility um, all the time, um, but today it, it sort of takes on a very different meaning um, in the context of seeing my work on, on the walls in the presence of kind, warm, generous, and considerate people um, who have welcomed me um, to these territories as well as to this, uh, to this program. And there is nothing more in my life that I think about than um, home, right? And I know that for many of us, this is one of the things that we go through in our life is that need for uh, connection where we don't feel it. And I think that this sort of quest, this journey for, for identity um, is probably the most important thing that is built into each and every one of these pieces. Um, I remember when I was around 20 years old, um, I would go to a place in Winnipeg called the Forks. It's where the Assiniboine and the Red Rivers meet. Uh, our people, and Anishinaabe people, have been meeting there uh, for time immemorial to trade and to celebrate and to just kind of connect with each other. It's a very um, historical site for us. And I would find myself at the at a gift shop at the Forks in the mid-90s um, where they sold uh, native cards and, uh, you know, touristy souvenir stuff. And standing with, you know, Benjamin Chi-Chi's work and Isaac Bignall's work, um, you know, some Cree artists, uh, the first and second wave of the, the Woodland School of Art, you know, I kind of leaned into those as, as hard as I could, you know, realizing this is home. You know, this weird kind of gift shop in the middle of this kind of mall is about as close to home as I know. And when I think about that now, it's, it's with a sense of sort of like, kind of like um, sadness in that like, that's it. That's that's home. That's that's my connection to to who I am and, and where I'm from is uh, is there. Um, and I've carried that, you know, um, as many of us do, uh, as we come to hope to know more about our culture and our language and our family and and our communities. And there came a point in time where I needed to know more about, you know, I, I needed to stop being afraid of who I was, uh, afraid of my potential, uh, afraid of my ability to find uh, great things in life, um, things that are, are healing, uh, things that are help my soul, you know, my spirit. And so these paintings are part of that journey, that quest for understanding of, of knowledge and these are done in the, the woodland style. Um, and these, I consider these paintings to be my cultural birthright in the same way that folks out here uh, do art in the way that their ancestors did it as well. Um, I'm following, um, you know, my culture in, in the best way that I know how to. And so these paintings are reflections of where I'm at now in my, my journey, uh, my healing journey, um, my journey of decolonization from this idea that I, I'm not good enough, that I am just an Indian, that I'm like, you know, got nothing, uh, that I am nothing, right? These paintings are a reflection of the fact that I come from a very, um, from a place that's really important for, for me. And, you know, being a guest here in BC causes me to miss it. You know, I'll be honest, I, I miss home. And, um, I think that, you know, the, the academic and the, the author um, whose name, uh, he's at the University of Toronto, whose name I'm currently just sort of forgetting, has spoken about um, the nature of Indigenous homelessness. 
and that being, well, for sure, it can be a person without a roof over their heads. Uh, but more importantly, uh, Indigenous homelessness has to do with a person that is not connected to their homelands. And that has been me for much of my life. Uh, so when I moved out to BC and started this painting uh, journey, you know, from some five, six years ago now, um, I need to feel at home. I need to feel at home when I'm not at home. And so when I look at these paintings, I feel like I'm about as close to Manitoba, to Treaty 1 territory as I can get right now. And certainly I can go back and visit family who I've met, you know, subsequent to finding out who my, you know, biological family is. Um, but certainly when I'm here in BC and I'm feeling kind of homesick or feeling kind of lonely, um, I know that I can do something about that, you know, and hopefully even be a beacon for other uh, prairie um, families and people who understand a little bit about the history of, of these, uh, this, the, the Woodland School of Art. So I think that's kind of where I'm at, you know. I'm just very thankful to everyone who's shown me um, compassion and support and, and love, you know. I want to belong um, somewhere in this life um, that's a good place. And this, for me right now, um, has been absolutely uh, transformational. In the same way that art is, is, can transform lives, community uh, transforms lives as well. So I say uh, chi mi guetch to, to everyone here and to everyone who uh, wishes they could be here with us tonight. Um, yeah, mi guetch.